everything is hard before it becomes easy and before you put in the 10,000 hours. Today I'm gonna tell you about how I made champagne kisses. So I wrote that song right after I wrote Diamond Things. It was the first time in about a year when I finally started writing songs for myself again. Because over the past couple of years I have been writing most of the stuff for other singers and other producers. I'm grateful that I've had that experience because that allows me to live off of music and it also developed my skill, my taste in music so so much to the point where I could make these songs and be so so happy with them. I finally feel like these songs are 100% Medishu. I have been also working a lot on my own self-development besides my career. When I lived with my parents I had other things to think about like how I'm gonna make a living and especially with music so my focus was mostly on my career at that time. Since I've moved out almost two years ago I have been working so so much on my own self-development. I have also gotten a lot more in touch with my feminine side and realized that a lot of things that I didn't like or thought I didn't like was because other girls liked it and other people liked it as well and I was always trying to be so quirky and unique but I've realized there's nothing wrong with liking stuff that other people like. I think it's impossible to not like anything anybody else likes anyway so why was I even trying? But getting in touch with my feminine side really helped me tap into this energy and this new vibe and aura that I have that helped me write champagne kisses and all the songs that are gonna come out throughout the year. This was one of the songs that kind of takes you in the flow and then you get into this trance and then when you wake up from it, the song is done. I had this loop that I've used in a previous song, Goodnight from the other EP, that I was so in love with that I had to use again. But I couldn't leave it exactly the same because then it would kind of be almost the same song. So I changed it around a little bit. Let me show you. So I was searching for that loop <laughs> and I actually found an older version of what Champagne Kisses used to sound like before I used the loop. It was not bad. So this is the project with my production on it. This is what the loop sounded like before all the effects. And this is how the loop sounds after the stutter effect. Now let's add some drums and strings to it. It's funny because with me sometimes I come up with titles of songs and in this case I actually asked ChatGBT to give me 10 titles of songs and one of them was Champagne Kisses and I was like this is a banger so I wrote it down in my notes and weeks or even months later when I got into the flow it just clicked when I was writing and I knew the song was gonna be called Champagne Kisses. I have more interesting stories about how I came up with titles of different songs in the upcoming songs but I'll tell you about those later. When I wrote the verse I was thinking about the time when I started dating my boyfriend and we started going out. He produced some of my f songs like Goodnight, the one that the loop was used in before. We said we wanted to tease our fans and not tell them that we are actually going out because they knew that he's producing tracks for me and everybody was like oh my god are you guys dating and then we were like not saying anything. So this is where the lines were starting the gossip as if you and I were a thing but I'm too indecisive so I guess we can tell them I guess we can surprise them comes from. <laughs> then I thought I had the production and I just wanted to mix and master so I went to Wenzel Beck which is the guy who finished the production and I asked him to help me finish the song. He said that he thought the song needed a more of a cele celebratory vibe to it and then he worked his magic. I was a little skeptical in the beginning but it turned out amazing and it was exactly what the track needed so I will never question him again. Initially I wanted to release the, the song on New Year's Eve but I wasn't quite ready for that so I thought the next best thing is to start my new era on March 8th which is International Women's Day. So that's how I made Champagne Kisses. Mm -hmm. 